Today I'm going to show you how to add multiple strokes to anything inside of Illustrator. Let's jump right in. Tip tot. Hello everybody and welcome back to Tip Tut. Today we're taking a look at adding multiple strokes to anything inside of Illustrator. Uh, here I've done it to some outlined text, um, but bear in mind this does work with anything because you're doing it in the appearance panel. So that's shapes, texts, uh, other things like that, whatever you want. So as you can see here, I've got a basic shape with about six different um, stroke layers added sequentially underneath it. And I'm just going to show you how to recreate this today. So. Let's jump right in. We'll get rid of everything we've got on the page here. Oops, including that little section. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. And we're just going to start off with this text in the middle. So this text here, I've downloaded a font called Raccoon. You can get it um, on Dafont for personal use. First thing you're going to want to do, just to make your life a little bit easier, is duplicate that off to the side by holding Alt and then dragging. Uh, and then turn the one left on your artboard into outlines. After you've done that, make sure you've got your Pathfinder panel open and click the Unite button to turn that all into one object. Just makes your life a little bit easier when it comes to applying all of these strokes here. Okay. Now that you've got that outline, let's duplicate that again with Alt and Shift, um, just so that you've got a copy of the original text and a copy of your original outlines. Now, adding the strokes is really simple. You need to make sure that you have your Appearance panel open, which you can find under Window and then Appearance, and it will appear here. You'll notice that when I have my shape selected or nothing selected, uh, the properties of the appearance panel change. You need to make sure when you're doing this tutorial that you have your shape selected at all times. So now that we've got our shape selected, we can go up to our appearance panel. I just have a white fill with no stroke at the moment. So I'm going to click these three little lines, the burger menu here and choose add new stroke. Now it's important to note that when you keep adding strokes later on in the tutorial, um, it's going to add them on top and the top of the stack is like a layer palette. That's going to be the one that you see on the top, but it's also going to be the one that's closest to your original shape because it's the first stroke that you've added. So let's just delete these for now. Uh, and we'll start from scratch. So we want to add a new stroke. Now, this has all the same properties as you would normally get. You can choose a um, color from your palette. So I'm just going to choose this nice dark blue and you can give it a stroke width, height, etc. If you wanted to, you can start applying gradients and things to that, all your normal Illustrator stuff. I'm gonna make it about, uh, what did I do for this one here? Let's find out. I applied, I applied a stroke width of 12 to this one. Obviously that's gonna depend on whatever um, size canvas you've got, but let's start with 12. So I'm gonna come over to here, increase my stroke width to 12. Now you'll notice that on some fonts it's going to start acting a bit weird and looking a bit weird if you've got these butt caps on. So you might want to change the way those caps work. I'm going to change them to a round cap and a round corner as well. And that's just going to fix all these little spikes that might not look so good. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, for some reason, you can't do an inside or outside stroke online. Probably something to do with the fact that um, it's a complicated shape. So what we're going to do is duplicate our first stroke here by clicking this small hamburger menu again, duplicate item. That's going to create another one on the outside. It looks like it hasn't done anything. Now that's because at the moment it has the exact same properties. There is another stroke underneath our first stroke that has the exact same properties. So what we're going to want to do is change those properties so that it looks a little bit more like this, changing the colors. So I'm going to select my shapes again, select my second stroke. This time I'm going to choose a different color. Let's go for what do we do up here? We did light dark to light greens and then um, light to dark oranges. So I'm going to come down here to my color palette and choose a dark green. Again, doesn't look like you can see anything. But if we start to increase this stroke here, you'll notice you can start seeing that. So I'm going to increase that to 24. Like so. And if you look at this reference one again, if I just get rid of all this stuff on top of it, you can notice that as it goes down in the stack, it increases both sides, inside and outside of your shape. So this is our first stroke, this dark blue, and then there's this green which comes on the inside as well, and you get this really ugly effect. We're gonna fix that later on with these overlay shapes, so don't worry about that. Increase that to 24, and then just carry on. We're gonna duplicate the item again. This one you're gonna increase to, you guessed it, 36. So that's increasing by 12 each time. And we're gonna change the color to the lighter one. 
Now I'm just going to speed through this section because it is literally the exact same thing over and over again. Okay, so there you go. We have our multiple strokes and it looks hideous. And that's because it's overtaken our original um, shapes here. If we were for some reason we're not allowed to, but if we were allowed to do the stroke on the outside, then that wouldn't have happened. But to counteract that, we're gonna take our original shape, and this is why we duplicate it, because this one now is all covered by all these horrible lines, and duplicating again with Alt and Shift and dragging, we're gonna drag this back over our shape until it's in the middle, and voila, there you go. Multiple strokes on your shape. Um, now, the only difference you saw in the thumbnail was that I added some grain to this in Photoshop. That's just filter noise. Otherwise, this is the exact result that you saw in the thumbnail. So hopefully you guys get what you uh, were expecting. And you, as you can see, it's pretty quick and easy to do, really quick and easy to duplicate. And you can get some really fun effects with this technique. So thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, all that stuff. Sorry to say it, but you have to on YouTube these days. Uh, and hopefully I'll see you next time on another episode of TikTok. Subscribe for more tips, tricks, and tutorials. Thanks for watching.